Hi, in this video I'd like to discuss another uh, common diagnosis of uterine malformation, which is unicornic uterus. So unicornic uterus is only, uh, is only a single uterine that is shaped like a banana. And so that's why we call unicornic uterus a banana uterus, because it has a shape of a banana when we do a HSG. So uh, as we mentioned many times, a healthy uterus needs to have a pear shape, an upside down pear shape as you see here to the left. So unicornic will actually look like this on the right and it is very detrimental for pregnancy because uh, in early stages it can lead to a, a very early miscarriages because uh, if it implants on any side of the, uh, inside the uh, uterine cavity uh, because of the, the composition imbalance which means there are uh, the connective tissues inside this, in this type of uterus and there's very poor blood flow, there's also very poor nutrients for the pregnancy to develop. If it reaches the second trimester or third trimester and because of the limited space within this type of uterus it can lead to a pressure induced late miscarriage because of the very limited and very confined space which stops the pregnancy from being able to grow healthy. So when we look at HSG which is a hysterosalpingograph x-ray of the uterus now a lot of patients will ask us why only is there one side uh, is, there, is there no the other side, which means the, the other side of the half-formed uterus? And we'd like to answer this, is because yes, there is a uh, other side of the uterus. You're only seeing the banana-shaped uterus is because the iodine dye of the HSG is unable to enter into the uh, smaller uterine cavity on your left. So if you see this on your HSG x-ray, it is most likely there is a more, more a lesser known uterine horn attached to your unicornic uterus. And why don't you see this on your HST? It's because it is non-connecting or non-communicating, which means the dye is unable to enter. But this is this is most likely the case. However, it is possible that you do not have this uh, uh, uterine horn at all. Although we have not seen such a case yet, but theoretically. It is possible. So that's why uh, a lot of patients are questioning whether or not they have another unicornic horn and why can't they see it. Now this is the reason. So depending on whether you have a uh, uh, presence of this horn, here at Anta Hospital we will do a, either a unification surgery or a expansion surgery, depending on whether you have this uh, non-communicating or communicating horn. So once we do this surgery, we will also need to place an intrauterine stent to help you recover with our bioadhesion barrier. So the whole point of the surgery is to restore the shape into a pear shape size. But within one month, you will uh, see that your, uh, with your HSG, you will see the pear shape size. And uh, with, after full recovery, which is three to six months, you can begin conceiving naturally without any IVF or IUI, and you can have healthy pregnancies full term and begin having children. So if you'd like to find out more information or if you'd like to seek treatment with us, please visit our website and get in touch with us today.